Hey everybody, so this is day four of Vlogmas for me. Yeah, day four? Yeah, day four. And today it's going to be about, um, the question is, what, what was your journey to going vegan? So my journey actually probably was technically lifelong, um, but I will get to the point where I actually fully like transitioned or switched. Um, but like all my life, I loved animals. Um, I even have things and notes for myself from when I was younger that said do it for the animals or, you know, things like that. So I've always been kind of technically connected. I just wasn't properly informed of what happens to animals in, um, you know, factory farms or in general or, you know, that it's not ethical to take things that aren't yours, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, it was long. I've had vegetarian friends, I had vegan friends, and I will go into tomorrow about um, how I felt about certain things like that later. I mean, tomorrow's question kind of has to do with that, but kind of doesn't. But pretty much, even if I had a friend, actually, for any, any type of lifestyle choice or diet, I, I don't generally care what somebody else does in the sense that I'm not going to like, talk them down. Um, I know I've made probably some comments on my end that didn't seem directly towards them, but of course now I know how it feels to hear those type of comments. Like, when you're, when I'm just, like, eating and I'm not talking about anything and then somebody comes by and says, oh, I can never give this up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. Um, so I'm probably sure that I made those comments, and if you or any of my friends that ever got those comments from me, I apologize because I know how they feel now. Um, but I would say, sorry, this video is going to be a little longer than the last few ones because there's a lot to say, but I'll try to make it short. So I would say, I don't remember exactly what, but something made me want to go to the Gentle Barn here in Santa Clarita. And so me and my family went. It was around November of 2013. So we all went, and the first time I ever went was we went there, saw some cows. Um, there was a cow I remember specifically, and it will, oh, I will always remember it. And they do it all the time, too, that um, if there is an animal, and in this case it was a cow, that was on the other side of the yard, it's because they didn't want to be um, touched or they didn't want to be around people and they want to make sure everybody there knew it. So it's not like a petting zoo where all the animals are running around with a whole bunch of kids and and a lot of times the animals are very, very stressed out about it. Um, if they don't want to be with people, they, they separate them, so make sure that their stress is lower and everything. Uh, saw some horses and... Then we went to the second level of uh, Gentle Barn, and they gave a whole speech about actually plant-based and veganism, and that day they were actually giving free copies of Forks Over Knives. Um, so I got the actual DVD, and I still have it. It's actually on my desk over there. And and then we went to the other part where there was, you know, turkeys and chickens and pigs and goats and a whole bunch of whole bunch of critters and these are all um, um, basically animals typically used for food that are now in a sanctuary and so that was kind of like that, that was probably the first big starting point and then I started looking into it I didn't watch Forks Over Knives just yet it took me like a month or something to actually watch it um, let me think that's when I started watching and I know this is very controversial because I know a lot of people didn't like her, um, or her boyfriend at the time, but Freely and During Rider are the ones that I was basically binge watching. So it's Freely, During Rider, and 40 Below Fruity. Her name's Tara, and I, someone else I can't remember right now that I don't think I watch anymore because I don't think they're on YouTube. So I was binge watching everything, and I was learning a lot. Um, oh, I saw a lot of, um, Bite Size Vegan, and... All that, so I was, I was learning a lot. I was still eating animal products. I wasn't even vegetarian. I was just, it was curious. I was, you know, a lot of curiosity. I was looking into it. I wanted to know more about it. I learned about the ethical side. I learned about the health side. I learned about all the sides. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to think when. I think around 
mid-December 2013, I started watching the documentaries. So I watched Forks Over Knives and I loved it. It literally just like made sense to me in the health aspect of it. And I watched Vegucated. And I know a lot of people promote that one, but funny enough, that one was hard for me to watch because there was a few... It's very, not that many, not like Earthlings, which I have never seen before. I have never seen Earthlings, and I don't feel like I need to because I already kind of know everything, and I don't want to put myself through it, but if you can, watch it. Um, but Vegucate is a pretty good one. That made me not want to eat um, pigs. There was a whole scene in there that's like, I, I just, I cannot, I cannot do that. And... Granted, I still was. Um, I will tell you what my, my, my last non-vegan meal was. I remember what it was. Um, so, all those documentaries, and I decided, which is funny because this is going to be day six of Vlogmas' question about New Year's resolutions, I decided I was going to go plant-based in 2014. So that was my New Year's resolution. That never ended. <laughs> and... So I, the day before on December 31st, 2013, I did have my typical around that time of the year food, which was a pork namale with sour cream and chocolate milk. And that was literally my favorite meal, at, you know, around the holidays, especially near the end of the year. That's normally what I ate. So on December 31st, that was like literally the last thing I ate. I remember I had like two or the last thing. I don't know what I ate the rest of the day, but um, two, two, two pork tamales with a lot of sour cream and chocolate milk and then midnight I actually made myself a like a, a literally an apple juice because we had a juicer so I made myself an apple juice and that's how I started it now I went overnight and I know a lot of people can't a lot of people um either because of their current lifestyle they can not or you know they're living with people that you know they have to kind of compromise for a bit. I understand that. I'm not one of those people that, I forgot what they call themselves, I'm not one of those people that basically is like all or nothing. When you're starting out, I totally understand that some people need a transition time because they're trying to figure things out. So mine was kind of like that if you think about it. Um, Mine was like an educational transition and then the actual diet transition. And my diet went overnight completely. Midnight on January 1st, 2014, I have not had intentionally, I've not intentionally eaten an animal product since then. Um, of course, things get slipped in, people mislabel things, that happens. Um, and I hate when that happens. So my first four to five months, I didn't want to really read any ingredients. I was like too confused and I rather, I made it as simple as possible for myself so I make sure I, I personally didn't fail at it. I didn't want to. I was very, very um, determined to make it work. And actually, I missed a whole part of this. I'm, I'm already at eight minutes. Hold on. I missed a whole part of this. So one big reason I was searching on the health side of veganism um, was actually to find a better diet for diabetics. And I did look up Dr. Neil Bernard. And I'm not diabetic, but my father is. So I was looking for that. So that was a big thing. But back to January and those first four months. I ate whole food, plant-based, not whole foods, but whole food, plant-based, whole plant-based foods, whatever. Only. I like primarily only had, I was high raw, um, high carb, and I ate a lot actually. I was like around 3,000, 4,000 calories a day. And I lost a lot of weight. I lost like 16 pounds in those three or four months. Um, again, a lot of it was because of freely so even though it is controversial she helped me probably the most in the beginning um I had a lot of smoothies I had a lot of you know rice beads and potatoes and everything but it wasn't until probably three or four months in where I started introducing introducing <laughs> introducing junk food into my diet and that was just a personal choice I wanted to because I wanted to kind of eat easily more easily around people around people who are not vegan, um, kind of regret it, but kind of don't, because now I get to enjoy a lot of food that, that is around, especially in LA, we have a lot of vegan food around here, and most of it is technically considered junk food, a lot of it, we do have raw restaurants and everything, but for the most part, I would say the hardest 
time I had was the first like three or so weeks and that was mostly because of dairy like because dairy you actually get addicted to it and I was living I'm just, you know, I still live at home so every time I opened the fridge I saw a gallon of milk and mind you I could drink a gallon of milk by myself in a day and I used to and I have but every time I opened it I literally just shut shut the door because I knew I was gonna grab it it literally felt like I was having withdrawals and I needed it but I didn't not once um I made sure I drank water, had another smoothie, I ate, and, you know, made sure my stomach was full. That's why I was eating a lot to make sure I wasn't going to fall off the wagon, so to speak. And so my journey basically was pretty long and in steps until it finally hit the pinnacle of it. And then I just decided to go for it. So I've been vegan since January 1st, 2014. Why do I feel like that's wrong? No, yeah, I'm coming up on four years. So, to a lot of my friends, I'm still probably a new, a new vegan. However, to a lot of my other friends, um, <laughs> the other day somebody called me a vegan dictionary. Oh, at work. Someone at work asked me a question about Nutella. They're like, is Nutella? And I turned around, no. I just literally just said no, because it has milk in it. Um, so I'm pretty good at memorizing what I can and can't eat. And if I don't know, that's why I'm like always on my phone. There are apps on the phone where I just look up the ingredients, you know. But it's like, it doesn't bother me anymore. I just, if I, I, if something is not vegan, to me, it's not food. That's, that's simple enough t to say. There's a saying that goes with that. But to me, at very least, if it's not vegan, it's not food. If it's from an animal, it's not food. That's, that's all there is to it. To me, that's where I am at, at my journey. So far, and yes, it's still a journey. You're still trying to figure out what's ethical and what's not ethical. And then... I will talk about this later because someone just added a question about um, intersectionality and veganism. So I'm not going to add it to these next three days because I feel like I'd be talking about veganism too much. So in about like, I don't know, a week or so, I'll start, I'll talk about intersectionality because somebody asked me a question about that, which was a really good question. And this is hopefully the longest video of Longmas. I'm not trying to go to like 15 minutes every time. I think it's only 12. Tomorrow is another vegan question, and then I will be answering some other general questions to kind of give a break. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.